hello and welcome to do it like a dancer obviously a little different setup but uh i figured that while i have this setup um may as well use it so i wanted to uh, make a couple of videos talking about some different things um the first is the topic for this video which is about nutrition so a long time back i made a video about do dancers eat which you can see here um but that was obviously you know, several years ago, and I wanted to kind of do an updated version because I think that, you know, dance and nutrition really go together in a lot of ways because um, a lot of people use dance for exercise, to lose weight, for health, um, and of course, nutrition goes as part of that. And especially if you're dancing more intensively, more full-time, more professionally, um, what you eat is is a really big part of your of your practice, of your work, because um, you know, your body can't run on 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 its own. So uh, just to be clear, uh, I am not a nutritionist or I am not a dietitian. Um, so I'm not a doctor. I don't have like what I'm sharing is my personal experience. If you're interested in some more like dietetic based uh, work, I do recommend you to check out my sister who is a dietitian. Um, her name is Darcy Rhodes and you can find her page on Facebook. She um, shares really, really detailed tips and strategies uh, for meal planning, for all this stuff. Uh, it's really, it's really amazing, actually. Um, she doesn't advertise super, super well, which is why she doesn't have a lot of followers, but I think she should have many, many more. Um, anyway, so just to give a, a, a briefly, um, since the last video, I went vegetarian. I didn't do that for health reasons necessarily. I did that because I was eating meat and I thought to myself, this tastes like a body. And I was never able to shake that feeling after that um, to this day. Um, and so uh, as a vegetarian, there's definitely um, advantages. I think that my system works better. Um, it doesn't, I don't feel as stuck internally, let's say. Um, I also just generally like, I found that after I went vegetarian, I had more energy and um, I don't really have anything to compare that to now, but at the time when I switched, I really noticed that change in energy. Obviously, I do have to pay more attention, um, but I live in a country uh, in, in where a really standard meal is rice and lentils, um, dal chawal in, in Pakistan and uh, carbohydrates and legumes put together makes a complete protein. So um, if I have this for lunch every day, I know that I'm getting a complete protein. So I am not super crazy about like calorie counting. I don't worry particularly about um, about you know like am i eating too much or not like this basically i really go by how i'm feeling how much like how full i am um i've i i i've trained myself to eat slowly which means that i fill up faster and um i don't like i don't eat more than after I'm full. So if that means that I put a little tiny bit of food in a Tupperware and leave it for another day, I do that. So I'm not, I, what I try to make sure is that I'm self-regulating in the portions. After that, um, I don't eat a lot of sugar. Um, I, I, I sort of intentionally moved it out of my, of my diet, but now it's been so long that I don't have like sugar on a daily basis that I don't crave it. Like I do um, have fizzy drinks, uh, which get addicting. Um, what I try to do, if I'm going to have a fizzy drink, what I make sure to do is only have a glass of it and not the entire bottle. Um, uh, these days I've uh, sort of redeveloped a weakness for ice cream. Again, I make sure that I have a bowl of it and nothing more, a small bowl of it. So a lot of what I'm doing is essentially portion control and just making sure that I have everything in moderation. So I'm not like thinking this is healthy for me. This is not healthy. I shouldn't have the, you know, like these French fries. I am known to eat a lot of French fries, for example. Um, but I don't, and I don't worry about that. What mostly what I'm looking at is, uh, am I eating enough throughout the day? 
did I have my breakfast? Um, before my breakfast, I have a glass of lemon water. Um, I started doing that because I had a chiropractor in South Korea who told me that lemon is really good for your blood circulation because I used to get really, really cold in my hands and feet. And since I started like incorporating lemon daily into my diet, that doesn't happen anymore. I take a multivitamin. I do take uh, vitamin D. I take um, omega-3. So I, and then every now and then I do take magnesium supplements as well. Um, but the, the multivitamin is really important because I tend to get iron deficient. So I do, I, I'm really keeping this kind of overall really broad um, look at what I'm eating and making sure that it doesn't like overbalance in any one area. But it's not like I'm counting calories or saying I can't eat that because it's not it's not a healthy thing. It's not like a superfood. So um, this is how I handle it. Obviously, I know that there are a lot of dancers out there who probably do it differently. Um, but th this is kind of what I would say. Um, generally speaking, it's not that, you know, if you want to be in dance, you know, or dancing full time, you have to be super crazy about what you eat. Generally speaking, it's just um, to be healthy and balanced. Um, and, and of course, uh, the last thing that I want to say is that I do have like my resting weight and my dancing weight. So when my when I'm on my dancing weight, it means that I'm working out a ton. I'm moving around a lot. I'm working a lot. Um, and, and, and naturally I'm about two kilos lighter than my resting weight. So my resting weight is about, um, 59, uh, kilograms. My dancing weight is between 56, 57, uh, and, um, and I'm five, eight. So, uh, definitely they're both like quite light. Um, but, uh, they they do shift around depending on, on how much I'm working. So, and I think that's really normal. Uh, again, I don't, I don't worry about it until the point that like, for example, uh, on my resting weight, I do notice that like when I start to get back into dancing, like I do feel heavier. So I do work to, um, you know, add a little bit of extra workout to try and, and reduce and get back to my dancing weight. So um, I hope that's useful. Uh, feel free to let me know uh, in the comments. Ask me questions if you want to know uh, maybe more specifically. Um, again, I can't give you advice. I'm not a dietitian, but uh, generally, I think that um, eating healthy is a good thing, whether you're a dancer or not. Uh, if you like what you see um, here or elsewhere on my channel, share it with a friend. Uh, things are better when they're shared and do all the YouTube things. I could not do this without my patrons and um, see you next time. Bye-bye.